it's SimColor here and today we're going to move on on our Tinder series and we are going to start working on the, the messaging part of the app. So in this lesson we will only take care of the layouts and start working on the... because we are using a recycler view for that so we are going to start working on the um, adapters and objects for that and it is only going to be copy and pasting on that, those cases I'm going to leave it as simple as possible and in the next lesson we'll start working uh, straight with the code so let's go uh, right inside our Tinder project and go inside the match view holders and one more thing if you haven't checked out uh, my Uber series uh, there I ask you guys to tell me what you think of the white background if it is easier to, to see so let me know uh, in, th in this video if you haven't watched, uh, if you aren't following the, the Uber series. Let me know if you like this better than the, the black one, if it is easier to, to read. So um, with that being said, let's get, let's get right into it. And the first thing that we need is to go to Matches View Holders and on the on-click uh, listener that we have right here, uh, we are going to move on to a new activity, which we are going to create right here and I'm going to create a package for that so chat and in here I'm going to create an empty activity uh, empty activity chat uh, chat activity okay you can leave it as is let's go ahead and finish that okay here we go it is syncing something but in the meantime Oops, in the meantime we can go inside, we can open up the chat layout, it is here, okay, we are not going to mess with it in uh, right now, but uh, we will in a second, so let's go right here and uh, create an intent uh, for the new activity and at the same time pass the, the information that we want, which is uh, the user that we matched with ID because that's uh, what we need to know in order to figure out which message messages to show the user so intent intent equals new intent view dot get context comma chat activity dot class now we'll create a bundle uh, to move the, the information that we need to the new activity. So bundle equals to new bundle and make sure you import that, alt enter, enter and b dot put string uh, match id comma uh, m match id dot get text dot to string so we are again getting, getting the id that's displayed on here and if you don't want to show the id uh, which you don't in the finished product you can simply hide this match id or even uh, delete it and add a tag to this uh, text view for example and then get the tag instead of the text right here so intent dot add flags intent dot flag activity uh, actually you are not going to, to add that I'm sorry uh, let's just intent dot put extras b Okay, and now we simply say view dot get context dot start activity with this intent. So uh, intent. Okay. So mm, what's the problem with it? Intent intent new intent dot get context. Huh. That's strange. Start activity, not activities. I didn't even know you have activities. That's strange. And now we have another problem here. Why is that? 
match ID bundle new bundle it seems all right oh it is extras and not extra okay so there we go and now we can move on to the um, chat activity actually let's go right in here and import this class I don't know why it didn't have it okay and uh, in here we are going to just grab the code that we need from uh, every other uh, activity that we use for the the recycler view and it is the matches so let's go inside matches activity and just grab all of this and I'm going to, to do it like this because it is in much easier so we don't have to worry about the thing let's close that up uh, copy the variables and the yeah we can add everything right now so the current user ID as well Okay, and we are going to add uh, the variables that the functions that we need, that which are these ones right here. Um, yeah, and we'll change all the variables names in a second after creating the objects and everything like that. So we are actually going to grab the uh, going the matches uh, folder and grab the adapter, the object, and the view holders and just copy and paste them into the chat. Okay, now that they are here, we are going to refactor, which is the same as uh, changing the name of it. And it will change uh, in every file, so you don't have to worry about the thing. So change it to chat adapter, and as you can see, it will, oops, it wasn't what I wanted, refractor. Uh, let me check one thing and rename it should change the name of everything that's strange so chat let me try that again chat, oh, chat adapter I was looking in the object so yeah it, it is working and do the same for uh, the other file so the object and the view holder so view holder Okay, and I'm actually going to remove all the information that's inside it because we are going to start fresh. I'm just uh, copy and pasting everything because then it is easier because we don't have to worry about anything at all. So yeah, and I'm just going to let the user ID here, actually not even, yeah, I'm going to remove everything only going to care about the, the 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 main part of the code and forget about everything else so the adapter also you can remove everything in the onbind view holder because this is the same for everything uh, so yeah I'm going to change this name to chat now it's just a matter of changing all the names that uh, are not uh, correlated to what we are doing and yeah that seems about right and because we did the refractor uh, actually the names didn't change we must change them as well yeah that makes sense so that change the names really quickly so mchat adapter adapter and just change Whenever, wherever the, the error appears and recycler view is the same and M chat layout manager okay so it seems uh, about right let's also change the results name and this is just so that it looks better because you don't actually need to to change those and the, the object it's really important for you to change so make sure you do matches it is not matches adapter it is chat adapter and get chat that data set chat 
Ok. He's only chatted after, no time chatted after. Ok, I believe that's all, but let me just double check so that we don't have to come back here in this lesson. But yeah, I believe that's all. Now let's go ahead and go inside our uh, activity chat and work on the uh, layout that's going to include both the recycler view and the, um, the edit text uh, that we use to send messages so to, to, to write our messages so let's first of all change these into a, a linear layout so linear layout copy and paste it here orientation vertical and now we can uh, simply uh, go ahead and grab uh, what we need to grab mm. give me just one second and I'll okay let's go inside the uh, where is it? The matches activity and just copy and paste the the recycler view. And yeah, place it there. And in the end, uh, we are going to add the edit text as I said previously. So edit text with match parents wrap contents. Let me just see if this one okay. And I'm going to change this to a relative layout because we must in this case. Because otherwise the the edit text might be pushed uh, too far uh, too far down. So we don't want that. We want uh, the edit text to be always visible. So let's add the linear layout in here. And we are going to use this linear layout in order to tell the the layout that this linear layout is at the bottom of the the layout. So align parent bottom, set to, set it to true, and it will always show up in the bottom. Okay, so that's everything. Okay, and we are going to need a button. that set uh, to to send the message so text uh, send and you can make it look nicer by placing a, an image so yeah i'll leave that up to you set uh, the id as well so id send orientation horizontal and I'm going to set the weights so that they all appear in line uh, with no problems. Weight one and weight. Uh, well, let's do 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 for the button, or 0 0.4 maybe even. Okay, it looks nice. It is good enough right uh, like this so with 0 dp oh that's the problem okay uh, with 0 dp sent i'm actually going to make it smaller this one bigger okay so that's it i believe let's uh, check again and let's just place an int in the edit text so it looks better there it says message can add three points right there and yeah so I believe that is all again okay so I'm happy with that let's just run the app to see how everything looks like if it looks good and if we can move on to the chat activity with no problem so let's do it uh, so the app finished loading and one thing I want to hit on uh, before continuing is if you're having a, an app crash at the beginning of the when you start the activity try adding this if uh, in the get opposite sex users in the main activity 
so that it checks if it is different from null before trying to make this comparison right here, which may trigger a, a, a catastrophic uh, crash in your app. So do that and then let's go inside our app and see how the layout looks. And yeah, let's go inside here and as you can see it works just fine and yeah. So in the next lesson we'll start working on actually coding all of this but right now we have the base so we don't uh, we don't need to write that much code to make this work. It will be uh, a walk in the park for us. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day and hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao.